Hi, it's Steve from Part Select. Today we're going to show you how to change the evaporator drain pan on your refrigerator, and it's a really easy job. All we're going to need is a putty knife, a quarter inch nut driver, a 5 16 nut driver, and a sharp utility knife. Let me show you how we do it. Now to do this repair, we will need to access both the front of the refrigerator and the rear of the refrigerator. So you may make preparations to pull the refrigerator forward, which will involve turning off the water supply and disconnecting the power cord. We'll next start at the front by removing the kick plate or grill at the bottom. Now it is a friction fit and you may be able to just pull it off with your hands, but it's easier if you take a putty knife and just go down at the top of it just enough to start it. Once you can get your hands behind it, then we can just pull it completely off. And we'll set that aside. Now next we're going to remove the two 516 screws that secure the water filter holder to the frame, as well as a single quarter inch hex head screw that attaches a water retaining bracket to the side of the frame. Remove this quarter inch screw on the side frame. And that just holds this wire retainer in place. And then with the 5 16 we'll remove two mounting screws. And then we should be able to pull that filter holder completely out through the front. If you find that the water line at the back is restricting it, you can go to the back of the refrigerator and gain some slack there so that we can actually pull this completely out from beneath the freezer. Now just pull the filter assembly clear and you'll see the drain pan in the back. You can remove the little styrofoam support set that aside and there will probably be a piece of tape right across that little bracket that positions the pan so we'll need to slice that with a knife now next we'll have to remove the compartment panel on the back and slice another piece of tape that is holding the back of it in position. Let's remove all of the screws that hold that back panel in place. We don't want to damage that panel because it is an, an integral part of the cooling system. Just slide it out from the top, set it aside, and then right in behind the tubing for the inlet fill valve, probably going to find a piece of tape that holds that tray in position. So we're just going to carefully reach in there with our knife and we'll slice that. And now we can take the evaporator tray out through from the front. So now we can just reach in through the front, lift up on that pan and then we're going to pull it around the tubing to the dispenser in the door and the tubing to the filter. And completely remove it and discard it. And we'll take our new tray and carefully slide that into position. Sure it goes far enough forward that it gets behind that tab on the base frame. And if you wish, you can take a piece of duct tape and just wrap it from the inside onto that tab to hold it in position. And verify at the back that it is sitting up against the rear support. Now next we can reinsert that little styrofoam support block. And then we'll reposition the filter housing, making sure that when we push that back in underneath the freezer that we don't 
kink the water line, and if need be, you can go to the back of the refrigerator and pull the excess through. And next, we can put the two 5 16 hex head screws into the frame. We won't tighten those yet, we'll just put them in loosely. Next, we'll install the quarter inch hex head screw to that little retainer bracket. And we'll tighten up those two retaining screws. And then do a visual check to make sure that the tubing is not kinked anywhere. And we're ready to put the toe plate back on. So we'll line up the arrowhead fasteners, one on each side, with the little spring mounting brackets. And then just push them straight in until they engage. So now all we need to do is make sure that the back panel is on securely, that we push the refrigerator back into position, make sure that the water line is not kinked, reconnect it to power, and our repair is complete. We told you it was an easy job. Thanks for watching, and good luck with your repair.